Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, Pittsburgh is looking for experienced dreamers. America's most livable city has made some notable progress in attracting young people in recent years, and now it's putting up a $100,000 prize to tell America's 45 and over population that we want them too. We'll talk with one business owner who picked up his life in sunny Cabo San Lucas and came to Pittsburgh to chase his dream, and a couple who chose to settle their family in our region for its quality of life, affordable living, and diverse culture. But first, uh, the Experienced Dreamers Initiative itself, an exciting new effort to spread the word about what a great place Pittsburgh is to live, work, run a business, raise a family, and realize your dreams. In recent weeks, our guests have been everywhere from Internet Talk Radio to CNN promoting the contest in Pittsburgh. Fred Thiemann is uh, president of the Buell Foundation, one of the sponsoring partners of the Experienced Dreamers contest. And Craig Davis is vice president of sales and marketing with Visit Pittsburgh. And welcome, good to see both of you again. Welcome back. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Nice All right, here. Fred, so where did this whole idea come from? Well, you know, one of the things, Bill, if you look around the country at small college towns like uh, State College, Charlottesville, Princeton, Ann Arbor, uh, they've been pretty successful at attracting what you might call the boomer population back to those small towns and it's been an economic engine for them and you know if you think about it what's drawing them is low cost of living good health care low crime rates great arts and culture and uh, people love to be around young people so we started thinking if a small college town can do that why can't a major urban area do it and when you look at those kind of qualities there's not another city in the country that has those kind of uh, amenities that it can offer to people. And that's, that's really one of the reasons why uh, Pittsburgh does so well. You know, The Economist, Forbes, places rated Almanac have all picked it as the most livable city in America. And it's a combination of that mix of amenities that, uh, that does it. So we commissioned a study and the study confirmed that if you bring in the right group of boomers uh, or uh, experienced people, uh, 1,200 of them uh, only could have a, a positive impact of nearly $2.5 billion on the economy, local economy, over a 20-year period. Wow, just bringing in 1,200 people. Just 1,200 because of the disposable income they bring. And another thing they bring is uh, a real volunteer attitude, much more so uh, than the general population. So if you get the right demographic, uh, you get people who come in, sink roots, and become involved in the community. And it's one of the reasons why we structured the, the prize. It's $50,000 to carry out your dream, but it's a, a second $50,000 to give the charities of your choice mm. because it's a way to, to bring a caliber, a person that we're interested in bringing to Pittsburgh who has a lot to offer, and we think we have a lot to offer them. Well, given the tradition of philanthropy and giving here, you know you're going to get the right mindset right out of the gate if they're interested in a prize where what they get to do is give away money to good causes. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, the timing in some ways couldn't be better, Craig. Aren't, aren't we what? So it's supposed to be the best in the world next year? Well, you know, National Geographic Traveler magazine named Pittsburgh one of the top 20 places in the world to visit. So we're really on the precipice of some wonderful things that are happening, and this is part of the whole equation. And, and have you been surprised? I mean, this has ca caught on fire a little bit across the country. I mean, you're in marketing. I mean, you deal with this, these, this world all the time. Well, we're in the likes of London, and we beat out Paris, and we're only one of two places in the United States that got the distinction, the other one being Sonoma. And so we're the only city in the United States that has that distinction. When you're talking about that, uh, trying to interest people in a contest like this, that has to help really help soften the market, uh, get people that much more interested in Pittsburgh. Oh, it really does. You know, Fred alluded to all the accolades we received in the last little while, and they are coming so quickly and in such, you know, uh, get one getting better than the other that it just doesn't surprise me anymore. We're on the, the heels of some wonderful, wonderful things happening. Now, so there's some criteria for this, right? To enter this contest, you've got to be 45 plus, right? Right. You have to live outside some certain radius. 100 
outside a 100-mile radius of the city of Pittsburgh, and you can't have lived within that radius in the last 10 years. Okay, so it is open to boomerangs, but they have to have Absolutely. been away for, a, for right. some period of time. Right. And so what does somebody have to do then to get, get into the contest or get to get considered? Well, the first thing you have to do is uh, go to the website, experiencedreamers.org. Uh, and the directions there are pretty simple. Um, it's basically have a good dream, uh, have an explanation of why you want to spend it in Pittsburgh or carry it out in Pittsburgh and articulate it well. Uh, and we're looking for that kind of creativity, entrepreneurial spirit, um, uh, and experience uh, to come back. And uh, there'll be a series of uh, judging steps, but the actual winners are going to be selected by uh, the residents of the city of Pittsburgh in an online voting contest. And there's another couple of weeks to go the, for people to submit entries. How's it been going so far in terms of the response? Uh, we're pretty excited about the responses. We have applications from uh, almost half the states in the United States, uh, so it's getting uh, great exposure. Um, and, you know, a lot of it, Bill, is uh, we're interested in who the winners are, we're interested in having people apply, but really the excitement over it is just the exposure that the contest is getting nationally and internationally and the encouragement to take a look at that website, experiencedreamers.org, because as uh, Craig mentioned, uh, we don't think we have to sell Pittsburgh. We think uh, these uh, accolades that are coming in are just reflective of the underlying qualities and amenities of the region. And uh, what we want to do is get people to dig a little deeper because we think that if people uh, look into Pittsburgh with a, a serious attitude and an open mind, they're going to be pleasantly excited uh, about what the potential is here. Well, and do you find that, Craig? I mean, you're out there selling uh, Pittsburgh all the time, selling the region for meetings, uh, you know, for tourism and whatever else. I mean, how, is the, is the sale getting easier? Uh, oh, yeah. I, I've been, I visit Pittsburgh for 11 years now, and when I first started, we had to do a lot of explaining. It's always been a wonderful city, but because of the, you know the the things that have come into the city, the stadiums, the all the wonderful new product, and and having hosted the G20, for instance, having uh, all these accolades that we've just mentioned, it has become a wonderful mix of things that have allowed us to really, really sell the city in a much easier way. So we're not explaining ourselves like we used to. And if you've been to Pittsburgh before, you for you for certain say nice things about it. So we have a whole bunch of people that are across the country saying wonderful things, and it helps us tremendously. Well, it's really exciting. ExperienceDreamers.org, right? Everybody's got to spread the word. You're not eligible if you live here, but you probably know somebody who lives someplace else, right? It's a good way to bring your friends, parents, relatives back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> All right. Fred Tiemann from the Buell Foundation, Craig Davis from Visit Pittsburgh. Thanks so much. Thank you, Thank you Bill. Bill. Next up, from Los Cabos to Liberty Avenue, uh, bringing a dream to the burg. Stay with us.